Hello everyone, it's me Elvison here from the Vlog Academy and today I'm starting a mini-series called Three Steps to Video Confidence and in this episode today I'll be talking about camera confidence. So welcome to this little mini-series in three parts on video confidence. The reason it's a three-part series is because I've discovered that there are three specific areas where my clients mostly feel they lack in confidence when it comes to vlogging. And that's camera confidence, a classic of course, but it's also about the technical process and setup. And then number three, it is confidence in your content. So I'm going to give you a little bit of advice on all three of these areas and today we start with the camera fear. Camera fear is of course a classic fear. I think we've all felt like a bunny in the headlights at some point uh, when we've been staring into that big black hole over there, whether it's sitting down for the school portrait or maybe you've been on Sky News or another news channel or done an interview. I've seen people who have been on TV every day actually for 10 years and they are sweating so much still that they have to change their shirt during the ad break. But we don't need to feel like that. We can overcome that fear. It doesn't have to be a scary process going on video. It can actually be a real joy being in front of the camera when you just have the right mindset. So what makes some people love being in front of the camera and some absolutely hate it? Well, I think some people, some people are actually just pure exhibitionists. They need the attention and it's a fairly selfish need. So they just want to be out there and get people to watch them. Some people love entertaining other people. They love seeing people laugh and it makes them feel good. And then there are us coaches and experts who are in business but just love sharing our knowledge to make other people progress and learn. So I'm one of those. I love what I do and I love teaching. And there's nothing better than someone letting you know that the video you shared has had a massive positive impact and helped them move forward to a better place. So this is really what we first of all need to tap into. The support you can give to your viewers. Knowing that even if it's only one single person I've helped with my advice, then it's still worth everything. And because you're only going to share valuable advice and information, as long as you know that you're talking to your target customer, they'll be grateful. It's when we wear off our content plan and do stuff that isn't aligned with our core and brand values, that's when thing can, things can go wrong. You don't want to show up in the wrong place, with the wrong message, with the wrong drink in your hand or something like that. You need to stay on brand. Now, the next piece of advice is to just talk to one person. Forget about the whole world watching you. They're not actually. It'll be a couple of friends and family members for a start. And then the people who really want and need your support are going to build up. So don't deny them that support. They do need you. You need to be consistently there to give that support or they'll feel at loss without you. When you picture that one person really clearly, and we call this your video avatar, then it can really help you feel more relaxed in front of the camera because you're just talking to a client in need. Give them a name if in your head, not for real, and keep their image next to you. That can really make them connect with what you say in the video. They feel that and resonate with you. And this will create a much deeper connection. Then last but not least, practice. I know that's boring, but you've got to practice. And I'll repeat that again in the tech video. You can't expect to get it all functioning and right immediately. And no matter what, we all have days when we have to do 18 takes. But the more you see and hear yourself, the more you will accept yourself as a separate entity. We're used to hearing our voice from the inside of our head. So when you hear it from the other angle, it's a bit weird at first, but you will get used to that if you listen to yourself. So when you have accepted that you are unique and that you have expertise, uh, rather than look for perfection, then it is going to be so much easier. 
I'm Swedish, I have an accent and my English is not perfect, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I know that I've helped thousands of people progress thanks to my advice. So a really important part is to listen and also to watch yourself back when you've completed the video. What's going on in this frame? See what your connection is like and then switch off the sound and watch yourself back without the audio. How is your connection now? What are you doing in that frame? Are you alive? And then look at what good things are working, not just what you think doesn't work. Now, a last bonus advice today is to think about your energy. On camera, you need to double your energy, but not your speed, unless you're talking to a very young audience. And to tell you the truth, in a secret, I recorded this video a couple of weeks ago, but when I was ready to put it out, I felt my energy was just rubbish and I didn't like it at all. So this morning, I've had to record it all again. And obviously I'm still filming, so I don't know if it's going to be better because I've been up at 3 a.m. tonight with my son who's sick, so we'll have to to see which version you get. But keep your energy up, most importantly, and also smile. You'll get away with anything then. Tap into your passion, your knowledge. Think about the people who need you and get out there and support them. Of course, if you need any help, check my training and workshops on the website or get in touch on courses at vlogacademy.com and keep an eye out for the upcoming master course. It's going to be launching on the 20th of September, so I'm really excited about that. But I look forward to seeing you again next week in my video where I will be talking about tech confidence. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.